Hello Libras! This is your February monthly reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys so much. Let's see. We're going to do a Celtic cross, and we're going to lay the cards face down so we can look at them together, okay? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Libra. Let's see. The energy that's around you. I'm going to take that one. That one wanted to jump out. <clears throat> Let's see what's challenging you guys here. My Libras. What is the issue? The underlying issue here. Let's see. Recent events or past events. The best outcome or what you would like to see happen in this situation. How you're viewing this currently. Your outside influence here. That one wanted to jump as well. What are your hopes? What are Libra's hopes? And your fears. And the overall outcome. All right, my Libras, let's see what's going on for you guys. What's going on around you currently here? Oh, the Five of Swords. Hmm. Some of you are feeling really combative right now. I think that um, there's something that you're willing to fight for as well. And there's something uh, relating to past events here. Aquarius energy. Um, I think this is more of you fighting for something or fighting about something, um, struggling with it, you know, from the past. But I think this is more about you fighting for something. Let's see what your challenge is here. Let's see. Hmm. I think it's to leave things behind that are not ser serving you. To see the truth in situations for what they really are. To see things for how they really are here okay that's what your challenge is with the five and the ace of swords that's the six of swords leaving behind things that you feel like were you know hurtful to you that you know maybe the situation really was not like you originally felt that it was okay this is seeing the truth in situations here moving on from whatever you have you were struggling with before okay let's see what was going on in the past Hmm. A stuck situation. Um, one where it was not going anywhere. You guys felt stuck. Um, you felt the situation was stuck. There was there was nothing that you could do about it. You were just kind of taking your hands off of it, just letting it go. Okay. Let's see how you're feeling about this. Hmm. Still holding on a little bit. Um, not trying to give in too much. Holding back. You know, not giving 100% of yourself, um, you know, still in it, but, you know, just not really opening up to um, your full potential is what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see what the issue is. Hmm. Whether or not you want to start with someone, maybe the attraction is what the issue is here, okay? Whether the spark is still there. Is there a spark still there? You have two aces now. Okay, and this is for you to figure out if the spark is still there. Can something come of this? Okay, now the best possible outcome here is reunion, is happiness. Okay, cancer energy there. Your outside influence is the emperor. Hmm. Now, either this is you guys, but I'm, I'm feeling this is more of the energy that is um, that you're thinking about. Because here again, we have the hanging man, which is a stuck situation, a stuck person. Okay. Hang on, guys. Okay, my phone was vibrating over there. But I feel like, because the emperor doesn't really move. Um, but this emperor is not sitting. So this emperor is not set in stone like they're just not going to move at all. But this emperor does very little is a thing. And they want you to come to them. They, they're set in their ways and they like things a certain way. 
They like for people to come to them. Okay. And I think maybe that is what the issue is here. If there's enough spark, if, if this person has enough initiative for you, okay? Because they don't move very much. Let's see what your hopes are. Your hopes is to be able to work together with someone um, that you're not going to be the one that's doing everything. That there'll be an equal exchange of energy and time in this situation because you don't want to be the one that's doing everything trying to make sure you're keeping things afloat and the other person's going to sit back with their hands crossed okay or their hands by their side not contributing anything want you to give them all of your time come to them all of the time and you know you're not wanting that let's see what your fears are being happy not being happy Okay, this is what your fear is. You want to be happy. Your fear is not being happy in this situation. You know, can this person, you know, be for you what you feel like you deserve in this situation? Leo energy there. Hmm. And the overall outcome, we have the chariot here. And this is moving on successfully, doing things that benefit you. So what I'm getting here is that um, regardless, I think that you will be successful in this relationship or situationship or situation period, okay? Because you're going to do what is best for you in this situation because this is all about you and what's best for you. So I feel like if, if you wanna be with this person, then if you choose them, um, you will have to accept them for who they are. If you don't choose them, if you don't want to reunite with them, I feel as though you will still be happy moving forward by yourself because you will go towards things that, that you feel like, you know, are for you. Okay. So let's see what this hanging man is about. What was stuck here in the past? What was stuck here? What was stuck? Okay, for Libras. Okay. Yeah, relationship. Relationship. That's a four of wands that jumped out on top of this other card. Let's see what this one is right here. Yeah. First judgment jumped out. Okay, so if a situation was stuck, you decided to leave it there. But now I think, you know, now you're deciding whether or not to bring this back. You're deciding whether or not to bring this, this relationship back. That's what judgment is. It's bringing something back from the dead. So it was very stuck before. It wasn't going anywhere. So now you're making a decision, I feel. Okay, or you ended it before because it was stuck, but now you're at a point, the energy that's around you is whether or not to fight for this again, but your challenge is to see the truth in this situation, whatever that means for you, to see things clearly. Is this something... Is this something that's going to bring you success? Can you have an equal exchange with this person? Are you going to be enlightened when it comes to this person? Whether or not they are able to give you what you want. And if you will be, if you will be able to see things um, clearly regarding this person. Like, are you putting too much of um, an expectation on them even and if you come to the conclusion that no this person cannot give you what you want they will not work with you then I feel like you guys will move on successfully you will still be happy okay so it's completely up to you my Libras how this goes okay and I think the decision is on you all right, guys, so we have Cancer energy here, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn energy, Aquarius energy, um, Pisces, maybe Scorpio, Aries type energy, okay? 
So that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.